Very good day to you people. My name is Mohit guys and today I'm going to show you the difference between uh, Motion Tween and uh, Flash Pro CS 5.5 Classic Tween and Shape Tween. Let's start. Guys, the stage is 550 by 400 white in color. I'm going to draw a square. I'm going to hit the shift button and uh, draw a perfect square. Okay, let me convert the square into a movie clip by highlighting the square, converting it to a symbol, keeping the registration point top left saying OK and then tucking it in the left top corner. Alright. There. Okay, guys, then I'm going to right click. I'm going to say create motion tween. The moment I do that, guys, you can see that 24 frames have been auto inserted on layer number one, the timeline that is. Okay, I'm going to stretch it and keep it uh, uh, drop it and frame number 96 all right cool then guys I'm gonna take the playhead back to frame number 24 all right and then I'm, I'm gonna drag the square to the bottom left corner cool okay then I'm gonna take the playhead to frame number 48 uh, 48 all right and uh, I'll drag the square to the bottom right corner all right well almost I'm not really accurate but that's okay then I'm gonna take the playhead and uh, keep it at uh, frame number 72 alright I'm gonna take this square I'm gonna keep and you know place it at the top right corner okay and in the end guys wh what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the playhead to frame number or uh, yep frame number 96 and then I'm gonna take this square back to where it started off okay so guys let me test by hitting control and on the keyboard and as you can see that we have um, the motion tween which is getting completed in four seconds cool okay guys next what I'm gonna do is I can click anywhere on the timeline layer one I can click anywhere okay and then you can see that you can actually alter the easing value I'm gonna take it to a full hundred out okay then I'm gonna test the movie let's see what happens and as you can see when the easing is out it starts off a little fast ends uh, up uh, slower towards the end the fag end okay if I were to change it to drag by dragging it to a hundred in a minus hundred in let's see what would happen it would start off uh, slow end up pretty fast okay so the opposite would happen right and guys we can enter a rotation value here as well if I were to change it to a 2 alright and if I were to test the movie now see what would happen it would cover the same distance in 4 seconds but it would rotate twice that is uh, 360 and 361 seconds that's 720 so the uh, the square would be rotating 720 degrees before it actually completes uh, the first loop and starts the second loop alright cool so guys this was an example of the motion tween now let's uh, check out the classic tween as well so I'm gonna create a new file I'm gonna uh, go ahead and uh, start the first thing that I would do is create uh, another rectangle alright rather a square by hitting the shift key okay convert this to a symbol I'll keep the registration point top left and tuck the square in the top left corner okay in fact I need to delete the outline because it, it couldn't be converted to a movie clip that was my mistake guys I converted the fill to a movie clip but now this movie clip will need to go all around the stage just the way I took the uh, just the way it happened in the earlier example the earlier case okay with the motion tween now we will be uh, confining ourselves to the classic tween okay guys the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to frame number 24 and I'm gonna press F6 to drop in a keyframe then to frame number 48 press X6 F6 okay actually dropped it on frame number 49 that's okay then to frame number 72 F6 and 96 F6 again okay cool then I'm, guys I'm gonna take the playhead uh, put it on frame number 24 alright I'm gonna take the square drop it out here okay then I'm gonna take the playhead and take it on 49 ideally should have been 48 okay I'm gonna drop the square out here okay drag it to 72 and take the square out here top right corner and take it to the extreme 96 frame and uh, it is r where it should be right then guys what I'm gonna do is
between frame number 1 and 24 I'm going to right click I'm going to say create classic twin I'm going to click between 24 49 say create classic twin between 4972 create classic twin and in the last lap right click say create classic twin then I'm going to test the movie let's see what happens okay a very similar motion has happened very very similar to what had happened last time through the uh, you know the motion tween the classic tween is able to do pretty much the same thing all right now let's talk about easing i'm gonna uh, you know left click uh, anywhere between uh, 1 and 24 and in the properties panel guys i can adjust the easing value i'm gonna take it to a full 100 click between 2449 and take it to a minus 100 okay between 4972 take it to a plus 100 and between 7296 I'm gonna take it to a minus 100 okay so the only difference is uh, through the classic twin I'm able to have four different twins of the path okay so in four seconds guys I would have four different easings alternatively and uh, the result is before you guys so so you see the uh, this s example is a little different from the previous one which talked about motion twin cool guys right all right very very good okay what else can i do guys okay please notice that i am on the 84th frame right now guys all right and uh, next to the minus 100 in easing i have this symbol where I can actually edit the easing okay I'm gonna click on this pencil symbol and then I'm gonna disturb this chart okay I'm gonna make it a little wavy and then I'm gonna say okay and let's see what actually happens if I scrub you see it creates a it creates a bouncy kind of an effect uh, between 72 and 96 okay in fact if I test it in the last lap you should be able to see what has happened see see it ret retraces its path it bounces before it actually completes the first loop see that there, there it is the last lap right and I can do something similar if I were to click between 1 and 24 click on this pencil button if I were to let's say you know have a different shape uh, something like uh, see something funny all right then I'm gonna say okay and then I'm gonna test it now <laughs> and see it, it it's it's <laughs> it's very strange it covers the first lap pretty fast right so guys uh, if you were to notice we don't have a minus hundred or a plus hundred out here okay but uh, we can uh, click on this pencil symbol then I can click on the reset uh, button say ok and uh, let's see what happens now the easing has been reset guys right ok so for every lap and uh, when I say lap I mean a span of 24 frames I can have different easings ok I can have my own custom easing as well cool right and uh, let's talk about the rotation part I can rotation rotate it uh, clockwise let's see what would happen now and clockwise uh, just once R rotation count is one right now guys for the first span of 24 frames let's see what happens right cool and uh, let me be between uh, 4972 all right and let me say I want to rotate it CCW that's counterclockwise and I would want to rotate it twice hit enter test the movie guys let's see what happens right amazing very very cool lovely so these are some differences between motion tween and classic tween guys let me uh, you know create yet another file let me show you how uh, the shape tween actually works all right uh, guys the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select uh, I'm gonna create a, a perfect square by pressing the shift key on my keyboard and making a perfect square guys let me drag it uh, let me in fact uh, I don't need the fill 
let me just keep it in the center okay rather I would like to do it uh, with the help of the primitive tool not the rectangle tool let me use the primitive tool okay right let me hit the shift key and draw a perfect square cool and then guys uh, I don't need to convert this to a movie clip because uh, I'll be working with shapes only only if you work with shapes guys can you create a shape tween I'm gonna come to frame number 40 press F6 on my keyboard okay now here's the trick guys if I click on the square I can actually uh, through the rectangle options give it a roundness okay I've increased the roundness to 100 and thus turning it, it into some kind of a circle right now that was the trick and then guys I'm gonna make sure that I right click between 1 and 40 and then I'm gonna say create shape tween guys and if I hit control and on the keyboard guys see what happens beautiful now that's shape tween for you guys and the path has actually turned uh, green if I were to increase the ease to a hundred out let's see what would happen All right it slows down towards the end guys alright see guys next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that I, I click on the 80th frame then I'm gonna say F6 okay I'm gonna turn this uh, shape to a different shape it's, it's some kind of an oval right now and let me mm, oh yeah I'm gonna give it uh, let's say a minus 80 out here for the corners minus 80 I beg your pardon it's minus 80 okay that's a funny shape guys right corners have turned inwards and then I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say create shape tween <laughs> alright let me test the movie now let's see what happens right very very funny great and then I can right click between 40 and 80 and then I can uh, I can click between 40 and 80 and then I can adjust the easing to let's say 100 in and let's see what would happen <laughs> amazing lovely and it's looping so guys uh, these were some differences between the motion tween the classic tween and the shape tween I hope you like this tutorial guys I'll see you very soon with the yet another flash or action script 3 tutorial or it could be dreamweaver cs 5.5 you have a good day peace bye bye